This is unbelievable. This is a shock claim by a NASA former scientist. She explains that there is a black hole inside of the center of our Earth, and it's good that it's there because it uh, creates gravity and it creates our electromagnetic field. It's why we have changes in our uh, Earth, changes in our volcanoes, in our land, the formation of Earth. This is on Express UK, today's article by Sebastian Ketley. A former NASA insider made this shocking claim. She says that there is a miniature black hole in the center of our Earth and it could be churning away inside the depths of the Earth. April 10th this year, the, sci the scientists have unveiled the world's very first image of a giant black hole at the heart of a distant galaxy. The black hole pictured in the center of the galaxy Messier 87, and that's more than 53 million light years away, at a distance of about 311, 567, I don't know, trillion, quadrillion, I don't know how many miles away. But there is one scientist who believes there could be a black hole, a tiny black hole much closer to us. Luis Rifrio, who formerly worked with NASA, predicted the speed of light is slowing down and believes a black hole could be hiding beneath our feet as we speak, in that it's in the center of the Earth. Appearing on uh, a paranormal YouTube channel, Third Face of the Moon, this scientist claimed that the black hole is the source of our, the source of our Earth's tectonic activity. She said billions of years ago, the Earth would have formed around this tiny black hole, just as pearls form around a grain of sand. And continues explaining the black hole would be responsible for generating Earth's inter internal heat, which causes volcanoes and earthquakes, but has also caused islands to form. And the black hole would also generate the magnetic field of the Earth, which protects us from space radiation. And she goes on to explain, so there is no need to fear black holes. Our life might not exist, or our planet might not exist, if not for them. And in the future, there could be an immense source of energy, something as revolutionary as nuclear power when it was discovered the last century. Now, according to this scientist, this black hole would be no bigger than a grain of sand on the beach. But the black hole's immense weight could be equal to that of the moon. Uh, there's an embedded uh, video you can see here as she claims all this. She went on to explain that there is no danger, no reason to fear such a tiny black hole in the middle of our Earth. She said we're fascinated by CERN, the giant accelerator we've built in Europe, and one concern was, oh, it would produce tiny black holes, but don't worry, if we, even if they do produce a tiny black hole, it would not suck us up. In fact, even if there were a black hole on this table, it wouldn't suck us up, and that's just simple mathematics. If you had a tiny black hole, it would not bother you. It would just sink to the bottom of the Earth and join the black hole already there. Well, that's nice to know. Black holes are the monstrous wells of gravity created when dying stars spend all of their fuel. And when a star's spent core collapses on itself, vast amounts of material are squeezed into an incredibly small amount of space, resulting in a source of gravity so powerful it wars the time space around it and sucks in everything, including light, past its so-called event horizon, whatever that would mean. NASA explains the idea of an object in space so massive and dense that light could not escape it has been around for centuries. Most famously, black holes were predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity, which showed that when a massive star dies, it leaves behind a small, dense remnant core if the core's mass is more than about three times the mass of the sun, the equation showed the force of gravity overwhelms all other forces and produces a black hole. So uh, up, up to now, just lately, recent uh, scientists have not been able to observe a black hole in space, but have now managed to map the event horizon's edge with radio telescopes.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.